South Africa's player of the tournament, Yanni De Beer of Free State, late of London Scottish, and now first choice standoff for the box. I'll tell you now, you know, I, I've, I've got a. You know, I've got a strong belief that, uh, that you know, definitely that uh, the Lord's got something to do with it. Definitely, you know, even if it's, if it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not without, it's, it's not an accident. It's not, it's not, you know, no, things just happen. That, because that might be person, you know, people's belief, but I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. You know, I know that uh, at the end of the day, you know, it, uh, just being part of what God plans for me, that's, that's to me what's important. And it's not by winning the World Cup. It's not by winning the quarterfinals or whatever. You know, it's, it's not important, you know. In the quarter-final, England knew what was coming. They just couldn't do anything about it. We tried to play, and you know, to be fair, Yanni just kicked everything. He was uh, he was supporting. You can't. You got no answer to that. You know, we tried to play, but um, they took their chances, and you know, five drop goals. So. When drop goals two and three went over, England was stunned. South Africa had found a tactic that worked for them. Throughout that, witted England, and in De Beer, they had a man at the top of his game. He's the best goal kicker in the country, and uh, he's, he's the best tactical flyer I've played with. Well, some fine kickers in this World Cup, Casada, Burke, Logan, Mertens, but none with the variety of this man. 17 conversions, 10 penalties, 5 drop goals in the tournament so far. And the 5 drop goals, no fluke either. the game plan, you know, to play like that because uh, defensively England's got a very good side and they, their lines are very good. Um, so you, you need to break them down by playing behind them. And, uh, you know, if there's, if there's not space behind but you're close enough, why not go for it? And, and I thought that on the day that was exactly the right way to, pin, to, you know, to play England and uh, to, to get away with the win. England should have known all about him. For London Scottish last year, he kicked 185 points. I think he had a 100% kicking record. He didn't miss a drop and didn't miss a penalty. So it is, he had an extraordinary game. But uh, uh, he's capable. I've watched him at practice this week. He was hitting 8 out of 10 drops uh, from all over the field. The record breaker's a fine kicker. An astute, tactical, intelligent player. And now surely South Africa's first choice, number 10. Could be a long, long wait for Henry Honeyball.